G'day to one and all. We're back again with Unknown to Untouchable, UD Malila. And let's hope we don't get sacked today. Yes, as I mentioned, we're back. I decided to come back straight away after our draw with Celta B. My thinking is, if I get sacked, we're all getting sacked together. I do, uh, you know, if it does happen, I, I want it filmed. I don't want to have to bring it to you without uh, without actually going through it on 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 video so we're back straight away we're either gonna crumble or we're gonna push on together so let's get straight into it we've got a, a few bits of news here uh, we're on the verge of sack again um the the dazn is uh reported a- again <laughs> and el sakiko looms for box and montoya <laughs> El Sakiko. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's keep going. Oh, well, well then. Uh, Diego Montoya, uh, manager of Getafe B, is getting a bit chopsy here. Yeah, well, he hasn't actually... To be fair, he hasn't actually said anything that bad. Um, yeah, I'm going to say that. All right. Me, Montoya, and mates... When I started this, I never thought within a month of starting I'd be in an El Sakiko. All right, if we take a quick look at the table, there we are in 17th, and Getafe B just above us in 16th. A win will pull us out of the relegation zone, most likely. We are getting a little desperate here, but it's time to put a performance in. I, I know one's coming. We just need it now. All right, match day. Here we go. Oh, Getafe playing in a lovely orange number. That's beautiful. We're at home as well. As mentioned in last episode, both first team keepers are on international duty. Good luck to them. So a debut for Luis Guerra today. <laughs> He's okay. He's all right. He's not. He's nothing special though. We'll just put him on a normal goalkeeper defend. I have changed up the tactic. The tactic, sorry, a little bit. Um, basically, what I was noticing in the matches that we we were quite far apart between the midfield and attack, and Fernandez was quite isolated, despite having a lower tempo and a slower build up. So I'm trying to maybe put him a little deeper as a deep lying forward. So he joins in this area a little bit more and carry Underwood as an inside forward attack and with the instruction to sit narrower uh, narrower as well. Uh, so hopefully he sits a little bit higher, closer to Fernandez and a little bit more uh, on the inside rather than wide which men, means I have changed my attacking width to fairly narrow. We are still playing fairly wide because we are playing a positive mindset, but it is going to be on the, on the narrower side. I'm hoping it's going to make us a little bit more defensively stable as well, um, as we did see we got torn a little bit down our right-hand side in the last game. Um, so, yeah, that's my thoughts on, on the formation. They're my first real semi-major tweak, so look, I'm hoping we, we pull one out here. We need to. Things are going to remain largely the same, but I am going to pop Pepe Romero in at right back uh, for Diego Paras. Diego Paras got torn to shreds in the last match by that uh, Javi Gomez, so he's back in. Oh, and what we got down here? Little Jacobs and Eagers back in the reserves. Oh, 
yeah, go on then, mate. In you, in you go, in you go, son. Oh, isn't everyone happy about that? I am. All right, enough of the warm and fuzzies. It's time for action. We line up with Guerra in goal, Mina at left back, Primi and Amaya at the center of defense, Pepe Romero on the right, Espinardeco and Siberio in the middle. My only shining lights really is my midfield. Carrie Underwood on the left. Please, for heaven's sake, do something today, Carrie. Higon on the right and Fernandez up front. They're playing a very similar formation to us, but fingers crossed. Team talk, here we go. Assertive. I expect nothing but a win from this match, and I'm going to leave it at that. Kick off. Fall into the usual patterns of starting fabulously with a lot of possession, but not much doing in the creative sense. 22 gone. Nothing's happening so far. Let's get creative, boys. Is this half just going to tick? No, it's not. We've got a highlight here. Carry Underwood with it. Plays back to Deco. Amaya's got it now. Can we play out from the back here? Primi to Espinar. Back to Primi. Back to Amaya. Spreads it to Higon. Good little ball out there. Higon to take on his defender. Good whip. Carry Underwood scores. Get in. What a finish. I think it was a mistake from a from the defender. A missed header. But a beautiful, beautiful left foot strike. And we're 1-0 up. Off the top of the crossbar, it looks like. And the keeper has no chance. I, I asked Carrie to do something today, and he does. She, not he. Sorry. Sorry, Carrie. Amaya to Pepe. Can we build again? I hate those nothing balls forward. Martinez picks it up. They try to play it wide. Oh, it's a big save from Guerra. Wow. That was a good ball and a good strike as well. Can we defend the corner? Looks like we can. Just about. Yeah, we have. Whew. Squeaky bum time there. All right, we're going at 1-0 up at home. Ah. <sighs> Can we do it? Let's go. All right. Passionately, I'm happy with ev Okay. Someone, someone explain that to me. Uh, should we try to resolve it here? Oh, goodness gracious me. All right. Let's get back out there. No changes. We're looking nervous. We always quite, quite kind of look nervous, don't we? Some might say I should probably go a little bit defensive here and maybe take it back to balanced, but we are on top, and I, I'm going to make that change there as a close down the winger. Amaya and Premier playing well, which is exactly what I want to see. Gonna make a change up front. Carlos Fernandez is again having a poor game. So I'm gonna pop on Adria de Mesa up there. He's gonna play, but he's gonna go and support. So he's gonna drop a little bit deeper. Carry Underwood, the goal scorer, is gonna come off as well. It concerns me that you you're under a seven after you've scored a goal. Uh Danny Vega's gonna come on. Again, more natural winger option he's going to stay on the attack because we do kind of want to keep pressing as well confirmed that we have a highlight but it's with us can we play out Siberio back to Deco he's sitting a bit deeper and picking up the ball there which I like we hit it aimlessly long now they've got it can we win can we win we don't pick up the seconds Alba's got it out to Kotsopoulos Good tackle by Mayner. Oh, but he's given it away. They've got an overlap. Can we defend it? Close the shot. And they've scored. <clears throat> I 
Okay. We get absolutely torn to shreds, don't we, out, out wide. It's a good finish, but we've got to be closer to it there. Look, we're home. We've got to go for it. We've got to go to our attacking formation. Again, once again. Get a bit further forward. Ortega's going to come on for Siberio. I'm going to change this up a little bit. He's just going to be a ball winner. He's going to hopefully try to win some ball in there for us in their closing stages. Have faith. Come on, boys. We've conceded late again. Oh, no. We've got a corner to defend. They've put it in. Very late doors. Keeper's just fallen over. No marking at all. We've got a highlight. Can we nick a point? Let's hit the post. Big tackle by Ortega. Out to Vega. He's just run it straight out. I can't believe that. I think we're getting sacked. Vega's got it. Oh. I'm getting aggressive. I'm far from pleased. It's just awful. I mean, you look at the match stats again. And we don't really deserve to lose, do we? Well, let's continue on to see if we get sacked. If not, we'll play the next game. Training some chance conversion uh, on Tuesday, so um, well, hopefully that does something. All right, we're going to praise Deco's form. We're going to do everything we can to just get some morale. This isn't even in the league, which is not ideal. All right, match day again. Soquelamos v Melila. We're away here. I'm going to, again, I'm going to try to play as full strength as I can. We have got a, another game in three days. Maybe a little bit of rotation. But I do need to get Carlos Fernandez a goal. I need to get Ricky some minutes. Ricky and Primi going to play. Uh, Avona is going to play in goal. Ortega is going to play in for Siberio. Danny Vega is going to come up for Carrie Underwood despite scoring a goal. He again disappoints. One Mikarion is going to come in for Victor Mayner as well. And we're going to not have a goalkeeper on the bench. You know what? Adri Demes is going to play. I'm going to switch it up a little bit as well. I'm going to play or take it back in that ball in the midfielder role, back in the defensive uh, midfielder role uh, position. Reason being is that's what I started with, and I got a few good results in the friendlies. Um, so that's mainly the reason why I'm going to change that back to fairly wide. Uh, take overlap off. Back to standard defensive width. Yeah. That's what we're going to go with. Yeah, okay. 
we're ready again again for another grind it feels like for me anyway i hope you're enjoying <laughs> submit team let's go i am losing a, a bit of confidence as well um We will check. We will check where Sokwilamos uh, is. Uh, they're in 3A Grupo, uh, whatever that number is, I think 8, no, maybe, I don't know, 18. 18? Surely not. 8? I don't know. Just stop! Uh, so they are in the third, uh, the fourth tier. So again, this should be a straightforward victory for us. Famous last words. Right. So we line up with Avono at the uh, in goal, carry on at left back, Ricky and Amaya at centre back, Pepe Romero at right back, Ortega at defensive midfield with Espina and Deco in front of him, Vega on, on the left. Higgon on the right, and Demessa up front as well. They're playing a midfield box formation with two up front. Haven't faced that before, so it'll be interesting to see how they do. I want to get aggressive really early. I'm expecting a win. Let's go, boys. Eleven, twelve minutes in. It's the same old story absolute domination in the terms of possession uh, there's nothing doing in front of goal however we do have a corner Espinar and De Mesa with his first goal of the season it's a brilliant header and a great run great ball as well and we get off the mark well done boys set pieces though is that really what we want but we'll take it I'm not going to complain we have another highlight with carry on. De Mesa, Espinar plays another ball to carry on. He gets it back. Ortega with it now. Spreads it out to Pepe Romero. He's got all the room in the world out there, it feels like. He switches it to carry on, who drives at his defender. Whips a great ball in. And Jose Higon with a fantastic finish at the back post. It's 2 0. And we're playing a fourth division side. So should I be this excited? I'm just happy to see goals. Well done, boys. It's 2-0. And I'm loving seeing a goal from open play as well. That was fantastic. It's ticked away as well, and uh, it's half time. We go in at 2-0. Brilliant. All right. Calm. I'm very pleased. Well done, lads. I'm going to rest some of the boys at half time, I, I know, risky, I know, but we are. Uh, Danny Espinar absolutely need to need to rest him. He is so crucial to, to how we play. Um, I'm going to pop Carlos Fernandez on for the second half as well. I need to get him a goal. He needs some confidence. He's got the ability. He's one of the best strikers in the league. Shall we... I'm just seeing there, their right back is having an absolute mare. So we're going to press him and tackle him hard. 65 gone. Still nothing happening. It looks like we're just cruising, keeping the ball. We're shooting, but who knows where it's from. We've got a highlight, 79 in. He gone with the ball, pass it into Deco. Nice little triangle in the midfield there. He gone with a great touch. Can he can he cross it? Fernandez, oh with a chance he gets he has his shot blocked. Good play though, boys. Well done. All right. Well, I was just going to drop it back to balance then, but uh, looks like they have a chance with a good ball. Oh no, Ramon Blazquez, the bloke that was having an absolute <laughs> nightmare game has brought one back for them. And how have we conceded it? Ricky, Vega, 
where's carry on? There. Why is he there? Really, really strange, and we need to be careful here. 85 gone, we are going to drop it to balanced. Looks like time has ticked. <sighs> we got over by the skid of our teeth in the end. So, I mean, they never looked threatening apart from that one chance, but <laughs> goodness me. We know how to make a, a match difficult, don't we? Well, I'll take it. You know, I'll take any any win. But um, seems like the only wins we can get are in the cup. But it should hopefully wear off the wolves that are chomping in the bit for my neck. <laughs> <laughs> well done, here gone. Good performance, son. We'll just do the draw, and uh, I think that might wrap it up for this episode. And I'm going to bring you the next one as well, the, the next game. And we need to, uh, I need, I need to bring it to you so I can film everything that's going on, um, you know, it, it, with the developments, because we are in a very awkward position. We're on thin ice, so. You know, it'd be a shame to, you know, if something did happen to, to miss it. And we're in the quarterfinals and we've drawn Barracaldo. Looks like they're in the, uh, the Segunda Division Group 2. And they're 14th. So, again, it should be a pretty close one. You know, we have an opportunity to win this, um, which is... Which is... Very strange. All right, then that will wrap up this episode. Thanks again for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, uh, subscribe as well. Hit the bell so you get notified when my videos come out every weekday in the afternoon at some point. Also, give us a follow on Twitter if you can. That'd be that'd be awesome. Um, I do post a lot of stuff on there, so yeah, that, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, come and hang out. Why not? Again, thanks so much for watching. See you soon for more.